test is a test conducted to identify the anion present in the salt solution. There are four anion that can be identified, such as carbonate ion, chloride ion, sulfate ion, and nitrate ion. For chloride ion, use any chloride salt such as zinc chloride solution. Then add nitric acid into the salt solution. Add five drops of silver nitrate into the salt solution. What precipitate form indicate the presence of chloride ion? For carbonate ion, we can add any carbonate salt in the test tube. Then add any acid such as hydrochloric acid in the test tube containing carbonate salt. Then close the test tube with the cork and connect it with the test tube containing lime water using the delivery tube. Lastly, lime water will turn chalky indicate the presence of carbonate ion. For nitrate ion, we can use any nitrate salt such as zinc nitrate. Then add dilute sulfuric acid into the test tube containing salt solution. Add iron to sulfate into the salt solution. Then slanted the test tube and add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid into the salt solution. Then up slowly set the test tube upright. Brown ring form indicate the nitrate iron to present. For sulfate iron, we use sulfate salt such as magnesium sulfate. Then add some hydrochloric acid in the salt solution. Add 5 drops of barium chloride into the salt solution. White precipitate form indicate the presence of sulfate ion. Here is an example of a question. Diagram 10 shows zinc oxide powder is added with two different acids to produce salt J and salt L. One is added with sulfuric acid to produce salt J and the other one is added with hydrochloric acid to produce salt L. Briefly describe a chemical test to verify an ion present in salt J and salt L. Salt J is zinc sulfate first. Add 2 cm cube of hydrochloric acid followed by 2 cm cube of barium chloride solution into the test tube containing J solution. What precipitate form indicate the presence of sulfate ion in salt J solution? Salt L is zinc chloride. First add 2 cm cube of nitric acid followed by 2 cm cube of silver nitrate into the test tube containing salt L solution. What precipitate form indicate the chloride ion presence? We got another example here. Loki found two bottles of zinc salt, bottle X and bottle Y in chemistry laboratory. The label of the bottles are faded, so he can't identify the types of zinc salt in the bottles. Loki had heated the white powder of zinc salt strongly and tested the gas release using lime water and glowing wooden splinter. Table 10.1 shows the observation recorded. For bottle X, we can observe that yellow solid is formed, it turns white when cool, and the lime water turns cloudy. For bottle Y, the observation is yellow solid is formed, it turns white when cool. Brown gas is released, and the glowing wooden splitter relighted. The first question is, Based on the observation in table 10.1, identify the salt in bottle X and bottle Y. For the next question, from your answer in 10A, write a chemical equation and the decomposition of one zinc salt. For the last question, describe another confirmatory test for the anion in bottle Y. Salt X is zinc carbonate. This is because the lime water turns cloudy, indicates the presence of carbon dioxide. Salt Y is zinc nitrate. It is because the brown gas is released, indicate the presence of nitrogen dioxide. For B, the chemical equation is zinc carbonate produces zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Zinc carbonate decomposes into zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. For C, first dissolve one spatula of salt Y in distilled water. Second, add 2 cm cube of dilute sulfuric acid. 
take a 2 cm cube of iron to sulfate in the solution. For slant take the test tube and add a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid then slowly set the test tube upright. Brown ring form indicate the nitrate oxide and ion present in salt in bottle Y. It's the end of video presentation from our group related to quantitative tests and ion tests. Hopefully, every student or anyone who watch our video gets benefits and useful knowledge. On this occasion, we would like to thank all those who took the time watching the presentation from us. Not forgetting our group mentor, Teacher Umi Nurul Afida, who has helped us a lot during the implementation of the outreach program. That's all from us. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.